the pot tree of Wonderland. Let's begin. I wanted to talk, but the language? We decided to return. I looked at Kanji to teach me what people in this country did before they departed. She signaled me to embrace the Prime Minister. How could I do that? My mother would never believe me if I ever meet her to tell that story. Diku would crack jokes out of her for the Parents' Day program. Before I did anything, Prime Minister himself came to me and embraced me warmly. There was love and care in his arms and compassion and understanding in his eyes. His palms were rough with cracks and there were dark lines in them. I wish I could give him a veil of Vaseline, I thought. He is a great man, I thought. Leaders should be like him. He gave me a locket before we left. The locket carried his slogan. Let's do our own work. God helps those who help themselves. That day was the greatest day in my life. I had made the greatest person of that country. What I had initially thought turned out to be the complete opposite. There was no bungalow or gods or as they do in our land. He lived in a house like that of any ordinary man. He walked freely around without anybody's fare and anybody could go and meet him. He was never busy in negotiation. There were no seven parties there. I was simply puzzled. Seeing me in confusion, Crunchy volunteered to explain the rule of this country. She started speaking of those people on the TV. Viru, you might be thinking that how such a simple man has become the Prime Minister. There is a strange test for the post. Sometimes difficulties come to the land of mysteries to test the people's wit and patience. One who suggests the best practical idea to solve the problem becomes the Prime Minister. He does not own a bungalow or take guards for security. A leader or a person's heart has no one to be afraid of and needs no guard. He owns a piece of land only as big as any ordinary man owns. Kanchi told it all like a storyteller. I listened with interest. People who lift their ears on earth when I tell them, I thought. My mind was whirling like a whirlwind, for the story was too strange for me to believe. I could not find my curiosity and once again, I turned to my little guy for help. He told me about the Prime Minister, but what about the 48 ministers we have in the democracy? This I had learned in my social studies lesson and sometimes a radio would tell us about it. Country burst out onto laughter. I felt a little awkward. I thought my question proved to be nonsense. She gave me a quick smile and said, No, everyone is a mis mis minister here. Everyone can be a prime minister. Nobody leaves any work for the government to come and do. The prime minister too does not leave any work as janitors work. There's a, that's a rule of law. They do their own work. With a, when a group effort is needed, the Prime Minister calls everybody. He makes two groups, one for the males and one for the females, and assigns the words. This is how this country has developed. The other important thing is that she, she stopped in the middle. Jimmy had moved too close to her and was almost licking her legs. She was afraid and gave a frank cry. Ow! I called Jimmy and to my side and requested her to continue. Tell me, what is the other important thing? I would love to know. This country doesn't even take a penny from other countries for help. People do not starve to death here. Everyone works and that feeds every stomach. Nobody can remain idle here. Compare with the mass that sits idle, idle in Rakhapar. Munching peanuts and talking politics in Kathmandu. The memory of the peanuts was pleasing, but the way country produced it would disgust but similar talk in me. I cursed the lazy ma mass that spit on the side of the city wall and basked in the sun on the roadside. See there! 
continued Kanji. The big yellow structure of them. I turned my eyes to see what it was. It looked like a minaret as big as the mansion of the ship of our village. It is a computer, Kanji said. I thought how a machine could be as big as a house. My teacher had once told me that these days, computers can even be carried in small bags and used, uh, used as you travel in a bus. At least this I have not forgotten. But this house computer, it was more than a wonder. That machine contains all the photos of the citizens of this country. It also informs who is working at this place and what's present. If anyone does not attend to his work on time or works less than six hours a day, as decided by the law, the computer starts shrieking like an ambulance and a small piece of paper comes out of it. The paper carries the photo and the complete identity of the citizens breaking the rules. The Prime Minister then takes action against the defaulters. The thing that puzzles me is the most is that in my month-long stay, not a single paper has come out of the computer. Can't she explain without a stop? That means nobody cheats here, I said, showing understanding. That's it. Learning new things generates new passions. In such a beautiful country with beautiful rules, I cannot understand who could be the man torturing country on the day we had first met. I thought it was proper to answer. He is my uncle, explained Kanji. I, I have not managed to feed his father to this computer till now. That day I had argued with him to load his father into this computer, but he did not understand me. Instead, he beat me black and blue. As you saw it yourself, he is a lazy man and tries to run away from beauty. He wants easy meals. Our country is made poor by people like him, you know. I liked your explanation. I spoke out elegantly. I want my photo and the computer. Will you please do me a favor? I want to work. I'm not like your uncle. Ha ha ha! I already loaded it yesterday. Surprise, isn't it? She looked at me for the reaction. Where did you get one from? This is the land of wonders. The Prime Minister has an invisible camera hung on his chest. Whoever meets him gets snapped and the picture is sent to the computer. The computer sends a letter defining your work the next day. You have to start, as per its instruction, else perish. The land of wonders, I repeated. How will the people move and gather around me to hear the stories on earth? I started figuring the future listeners and their questions. Maybe some would say, I do not believe you. Let that go to hell. What is my work? I asked promptly. Where is my letter? You don't need to worry. The letter is with me. I picked it up early this morning. You are supposed to be a teacher here. Teacher? I cannot hold my tongue. I am only in class 5 on earth and I, how can I be a teacher? Moreover, I don't know their language. There is frustration in my voice. Ha 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 came the laughter out of Kanji's face. He made joke of death. Fool, she said in a serious tone. It is not like Nepal here. A translating machine is kept in front of the class. You can lecture in your own language and the machine will tell them in their tongue. Doesn't that sound nice? Indeed, it sounded weird. Science, I thought and kept, kept quiet. She continued, the machines are always there to help you. I like this idea too. I envisioned the realization of my dream of becoming a teacher. My father would always say that I would grow up to be a good teacher. And I missed him strongly at that moment. I was lost in dreams. I would go to the class and tell them strange and useful stories about Nepal. I would share the good things about our country. I would never forget to tell them about the snow-clad Mount Everest or, or the magnificent Tal Talaya. They would love to hear about Nepal's natural beauty, I bet. What are you thinking, Biru? 
When she turned her face to me, I understood her thoughts. She was getting late. We walked back. We crossed green fruit fields full of ripe corn and fruits. Smooth, furry and strong cattle grazed around and not a single fly or pet was seen stuck to their bodies. The fruit were ripening in their branches and they had rolled low, but no one would steal a mango or a guava. The flowers in the garden moved their heads to and fro and danced in the cool breeze that gently blew over to the beautiful land. What happens next? We will know in the next part, which will come in Kita Kitty Online. Till then, thank you.